This is the weather forecast video for Wednesday, May the 25th, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see a big storm system was centered over the center part of the country with strong to severe thunderstorms from Iowa through Missouri down into Arkansas and Texas, where there were several tornadoes in Oklahoma and Texas yesterday. Here's the watch warning map. From around midnight last night, you can see some tornado watches in effect at the time over Missouri down into Arkansas and Oklahoma, a severe thunderstorm watch over Texas. A flash flood watch was in effect over the southern and western counties of the state through this morning into the afternoon. And here's the severe weather outlook for today and tonight, a slight risk over the far southeastern portions of the state, mainly south and east of a line from about Clinton to Lamoni. Moderate risk further to the southeast over central and southern Illinois and southern Indiana down into Arkansas and northwestern Mississippi. Here's the QPF chart. Precipitation over the next five days through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. This takes into account the rainfall that occurred last night, which was quite plentiful. You can see about an inch to three inches across the state. Here's the GFS model run at 1 p.m. today. You can see there's that upper level feature south of the state over Kansas and Missouri at the surface. The low will be right underneath that about near Kansas City. We'll be on the north side so we'll see mainly some showers and isolated thunderstorms with the severe weather staying over the southeastern portions of the state and south and east of there. Tomorrow, Thursday, you can see the storm has moved off to the east. It should be clearing and cooler with some clearing skies as I said before but that doesn't last long Friday as we begin the Memorial Day holiday weekend here comes another storm system with a low over northeastern Montana with a trailing cold front that could bring some thunderstorms Saturday that low is over North Dakota the model here shows that there looks to be no chance of rain but there looks to probably be an isolated chance on Saturday same thing goes for Sunday. There will probably be an isolated chance of a shower or a thunderstorm with temperatures jumping into the 80s. And Monday, new storm forms under a thousand millibar low over the Colorado Nebraska border. That could bring some showers and thunderstorms late Monday night over the western counties. By Tuesday, that low is zipped off to the northeast. A trailing cold front will be moving in Tuesday morning and afternoon. That could spark off a shower and thunderstorm at that time. And a week from today, June 1st, that front is now south of the state. And some decent temperatures, likely near average temperatures for the beginning of June. Heading into Voodoo Country, here's June the 6th or June the 5th, big ridge over the eastern half of the country at the surface. This is pretty much leading to possibly some popcorn showers and thunderstorms with the main steering flow way to the north over southern Canada. And at the end of the forecast period on June the 9th, that ridge shifts off to the west with a bit of a trough over the Great Lakes and northeastern part of the country. At the surface, it, some scattered showers and thunderstorms about, but no real front anywhere nearby, so it looks to be summery weather will be making its headway into the state. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.